the maximum function is trying to do is it's trying to find the maximum number in a selection. So as with sum and average, we can find the maximum of individual cells or we can find the maximum of a range. In the first example, we take the max of B4 and B6 and obviously the maximum number out of 15 and 5 is 15. We do the same with example 2 and we find the maximum of that range again is 15. So let's look at some examples of max. So the first example says find the maximum test score for the below class. So we've got six students in this class. We're going to go equals max and we're going to select that data and close bracket enter. So the maximum score there is 93. Now we're going to look at the count if function. So basically what the count if function does is it counts the number of cells within a range that meet the given criteria. In the example we've taken a range from B2 to B3 and we've said is greater than 4. So we know that 4 is not greater than 4 but then 5 is. So if we counted up the number of cells that are correct or that relationship holds true then we'd get 1. So let's look at some examples. So the first example says, how many students got over 70% in their tests? So we're going to go equals count if, and we're going to select the range, comma, and we're going to go criteria is over 70, and press enter. Now let's go back to our reference guide and let's look at the HLOOKUP. And basically the HLOOKUP looks up a value in the top row of an array and returns the value in the selected row. Let's look at the example. So it says what is the rate of depreciation for a piece of machinery? So we're going to say equals HLOOKUP and so the first row is obviously the asset which includes truck, machinery and forklift. So we're going to look up the machinery and we're going to look at up in the table array of the selected. So it's B2 all the way through to E4. And we want the rate of depreciation which is in the third row. So we're going to put 3 in there and then we're going to put in false. And all false means is that it's going to give us an exact answer. So in this one, obviously, the rate of depreciation of the machinery is 33.33%. So let's look at some examples. Okay, so the first example says find the price of a hammer. So all we're going to do is H look up. I'm going to say hammer in table array from B36 to F37, comma, row index number. So this is the result index number or the row of the result, which is obviously the second row of that matrix. Two, comma, and we want false. So we want an exact match. Let's push enter and we should get $10. Now we can answer the number one question that we had in our mini exercise. It says find the total revenue for the year 2012. Let's go one revenue 2012. So let's go equals sum if range. So our range are our years. Yep comma, I don't want to lock any of those cells. Now criteria, we know it's 2012 we're looking for. We don't have to put equals or anything like that. Default is equals. And we want to sum that range, right? So what it's going to do is it's going to sum all the numbers in the sum range that have a corresponding 2012. So if we have a look at that, it's going to basically take 
the numbers from here through to here. So enter and we get 25,725. Let's just check that. And indeed in the right bottom hand corner it's 25,725.